Uh, hey everybody, Robin here from Aries Fire Tarot. I'm just gonna do the Divine Oracle reading. So I'm taking from the Divine Feminine deck and um, I shuffled and pulled a card for you and it is actually Joan of Arc, who is just this amazing woman from history. Um, so I've got my book here and um, here, let me just put this down. So they've written actually like two and a half pages about Joan of Arc. So um, she was 13 years old when she had a vision. And then like she actually changed the course of her life and the course of history with this vision and because she believed in herself that she could do it. Um, and this was in 1412. So, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of women's right movements going on in that time so she had to have like a backbone of pure steel right um she stood trial for what she did uh so there's actual records historical records of how she came to lead troops into battle um she she says that the archangel Michael told her, came to her in a vision and told her that she was meant to drive out the English from France. So she led several campaigns against the English and became a symbol of hope. The power of her conviction that she was acting on God's behalf shifted the tenor of the war in France's favor. She was captured in May of 1430 and taken to Rouen, which was then under English rule. A heresy trial led by the Bishop Cochon charged her with the repeat offense of cross-dressing. Oh, she was condemned and sentenced to death for wearing armor, oh my God, in 1431. We've come a long way, baby. Wow. Um, so unbelievable. Can you imagine the courage it must have taken this woman to do that? But she had absolute faith in her vision, in her journey, in what she was meant to accomplish. And she did it. Um, so there's a, um, a portion here that says when your soul selects her card, um, during Joan of Arc's heresy trial, her interrogators asked her if she was in a state of grace and she answered, if I am not, may God put me there. And if I am, may God so keep me. Her unfaltering faith in the truth of her own visions made the impossible possible. Like, can you even imagine um, leading an army right now? Even, like, never mind hand-to-hand -hand combat like it was in 1412, like this woman did. Like, she's just amazing rock star. Um, she is associated with the fleur-de-lis, known as the flower of light. Oh, I just want to turn a page here. It, um, it represents the trinity, the profound truth that the trinity would not exist without Mary and her brave response to the angel Gabriel's call. Joan, like Mary, knows she is directly connected to the divine from within her, and she allows that connection to guide her. Joan of Arc's life is a testament to what is possible for us when we believe steadfastly that our every step is flanked by angels. So the soul voice meditation, when you see the Joan of Arc card, is what is the most powerful vision of my life? And the intention is, I have a steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. So, if you have been visited with a divine idea that you do not think that you have the capacity or the strength or the will to do, you're wrong. Um, you are only limited by your own beliefs. So, if you have something that you think that you have been tapped on the shoulder by spirit or God or angels, you can do it. Um, you can do it. Man or woman, um, don't be afraid. Um, everything that you want in life is on the other side of fear. So just remember Joan of Arc, 13 years old, 
leading a brigade, um, changing the course of France and the world. So, um, unbelievable card, you guys. Like, she's just been, uh, this is why I'm talking so much, sorry. She's just been like a hero of mine for so long. I, I can't even imagine what it takes or what it took for her to to just say, okay, yeah, I'm off. Um, I'm going to go and win this war because, you know, God told me to. So, amazing. Keep faith in yourself. You're stronger than you know. Ask for help from your angels. Um, say your prayers to whoever you believe in, source, God, universe. Um, your spirit guides are here for you. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, guys, I'm, I just am loving this card. And um, thank you so much for anybody that um, listened to me on it. And we'll see you back another time. And uh, may have a little, oh, little cameo appearance by my dog. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, love you guys. Bye for now. Bye.